We always ask, who's a good boy? But we never ask, who's a rare boy? <laughs> there are a lot of dog breeds out there, but sadly, there may soon be less. These dog breeds are unique because of how worryingly rare they're becoming. From the Griffin Nivarnay to the Otterhound, these are the most unique dog breeds in the world. Let's begin. Huh? <laughs> Number 10. Terra Nova Dog The Terra Nova Dog, also called the Newfoundland Dog, is well known for their tremendous strength, calm disposition, and above all else, the absolute size of them. Look at this unit. That's no mere dog, that is a tornado of snuggle times. You probably couldn't fit these big boys inside an average house, and they're quite prone to jumping into the spotlight, like Nera in Peter Pan. That's a Terra Nova Dog. Lion from Little Dorrit, that's a Terra Nova Dog. Lou from Police Academy 2, Pilot from Jane Eyre, and Tiger from the Edgar Allan Poe novel, The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket, they are all Terra Nova dogs. But as we've said, it's not just their IMDb credits that are big, it's also their size. The Terra Nova dog is, without a doubt, the biggest breed of dog in the world. They could even give Clifford a run for his money, and we've been lucky enough to find photographic evidence of the biggest of them all. We can't believe this champ even fits inside the frame. Check out this photo. K9? Tah, more like K11. Look at that thing. Number 9. Legato Romagnolo. A cute face and an unusual talent combine in the Italian Legato Romagnolo. According to the Legato Romagnolo Club of America, this little cutie is bred to sniff out truffles, the expensive underground tubers. Traditionally, these cute little doggos are gun dogs, or to get more specific, water retrievers. But as we said, these days they're more used to sniffing out those elusive truffles. Due to them being a sporting breed, they have sharper scents than a lot of other dogs. And they'd need to. You need to have your wits about you. You need to be on your game. The dog has a curly coat that's denser than Thomas Pynchon's gravity rainbow, but all that cuteness is tightly packed into a dainty little frame, with most Legato Romagnolos coming in at under 35 pounds. They require some exercise and mental challenge, but they are easily trained and healthy. Prices vary, but a trained truffle hunter can cost as much as $7,500. Number 8. Koiker Hunchi. An old breed from the Netherlands, the Koiker Hunchi was originally used in duck hunting. Their job, well we say job, but they were never paid, was to lure in the ducks. Presumably, they were so cute the ducks couldn't resist popping out to pet them. These dogs have a reddish orange and white coat with some black, and weigh only an adorably minute 24 pounds, according to the Koiker Hunchi Club of the USA. They have long been photogenic, the Instagram models of their day, regularly being the focal star of many 17th and 18th century paintings by the like of Jan Steen and Rembrandt. Sadly, the Quaker Hunji, also known by the far cuter name of Kukier, can develop a lot of health problems. Due to the small breeding pool, it's common for Kukiers to have epilepsy, among other conditions. They have consistently been a rare breed, so much so that they also went extinct during World War II. If the Second World War wasn't already bad enough, it almost killed off a doggo this cute. Do you have no shame, Hitler? Due to how rare they are, they're obviously pricey. The ballpark figures in the thousands. Number 7. Norwegian Lundehund The Lundehund originates in Norway, where its primary job, but again, they don't get paid, was a puffin hunter. After World War II, these energetic and alert dogs also reached near extinction. But seriously, what is it with wars nearly wiping out dogs? The Norwegian Lundehund Association of America Incorporated says that this small breed weighs only 13 to 16 pounds and can climb almost anything. They require a lot of coat care and are heavy shedders. Like many rare dogs, part of the Norwegian Lundehund's rarity comes down to it being a little bit of a weakling. They're susceptible to a lot of health problems. A major issue with the breed is, and let me check if I'm pronouncing this right, gastroenteropathy. For those of you who aren't experts in all things gut-related, gastroenteropathy isn't just one stomach problem, it's a whole bunch of them mixed up together. In bad cases, poor little Norwegian Lundehunds have such bad stomach problems that they lose the ability to absorb the nutrients from food. The most extreme of cases, the dog can starve no matter how much it eats. It can munch down on and gobble up piles upon piles of food, but without the ability to take in the nutrients, it's pointless. With them dying so easily and being so rare, the Norwegian Lundehund range in price from $500 to several thousand dollars. 
Despite struggling to digest cheddar, they sure cost a lot. Number 6. Thai Ridgeback Thai Ridgebacks are medium-large dogs weighing 35 to 75 pounds. According to the American Kennel Club, their short coat has four color variations of black, blue, red, and fawn. The breed is estimated to be over 4,000 years old, and there are less than 300 of them in the U.S. today. Intelligent and clean, they make good companions, but require daily exercise. They almost look a little bit like Scooby-Doo himself. They're muscular dogs with triangular ears that are almost always up and alert. But their most notable feature, the one from their name, is the notable ridge going down its back. There are eight different variations of the ridge, and the broader the ridge on a ridgeback, the more highly the dog is prized. Prices range, depending on how broad that bridge is, from several hundred to several thousand dollars. If only having a huge lump on your back made you valuable if you're a human, the hunchback of Notre Dame would have been rolling in dough. Number 5. Czechoslovakian Volchak The Czechoslovakian Volchak, or Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog, came about from an experimental crossing of a Carpathian wolf to a German shepherd in 1955. Only 208 pedigreed Volchak exist in the U.S. as of 2014, says the Czechoslovakian Volchak Club of America. They weigh up to 60 pounds and serve in numerous jobs, particularly search, rescue, and tracking. They have an independent nature not recommended for people without prior dog experience. You need to be a real dog expert if you're planning to try and handle one of these beasts. Of all the dog breeds, it's a surprisingly newer one, its lineage only tracing back to 1955. They were bred in Czechoslovakia for the sole purpose of becoming Special Forces attack dogs. And you can tell, they've got quite the temper on them. They're the Incredible Hulk of the canine world. But by putting in the hard work necessary, an owner can turn this tornado of aggression into the most loyal and defensive of pets. Some dogs are described as all bark and no bite, but these fellas are kind of the reverse, because many of them actually struggle to bark. The Czechoslovakian Volchak tends to prefer communicating with body language over barking, and will always prioritize asking for what they want with gestures instead of yelling. If there's a burglar in your house, they won't bark. They'll just tap you on the shoulder to let you know. Uh, well, no, they'll bite the burglar's leg off, but you get the point. Czechoslovakian Volchek pups sell for $1,500 to $2,000. Number 4. Sholowitz Quintley Giving a nice, cute dog a good hug, pat, and scratch is always tempting, but when they have absolutely no hair at all, not so much. The Sholowitz Quintley, and no, I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that right, let me know in the comments, goes by many names, including Jolo and the Mexican hairless dog. These sleek boys date back thousands upon thousands of years. The Jolowitz Quintley Club of America explains that in the 1950s, the breed was near extinction. The dog has a strong build and ranges from an incredibly tiny size to a more normal dog size size. And as we've said, the Sholo is almost entirely hairless, giving it a truly unique and striking appearance. Despite the total lack of hair, you're still paying full price, with the Jolo costing, on average, anywhere from $200 to well over $2,000. Number 3. Griffin Nivarnay The Griffin Nivarnay is an old French breed that was brought back by dedicated breeders after being nearly lost after the French Revolution. Originally bred for hunting large animals like wolves and wild boar, these dogs need some exercise. They have a shaggy appearance and friendly nature, but their dominant personalities mean that they aren't the best choice for first-time dog owners. These dogs are the boss of any household. Dogs are man's best friends, but not the Griffin Nivarnay. They make much better middle managers than they do friends. These tiny little powerhouses were originally bred by French noblemen to hunt down wolves and even wild boar as far back as the 14th century. Like most other rare dog breeds, Griffin Nivarnay cost thousands of dollars. Number 2. Azawak The gorgeous Azawak is an African sighthound from the Sahara, first used by the tribes of the Sahel. These dogs weren't introduced to the wider world until the 1970s. The American Azawak Association explains that these dogs weigh between 33 and 55 pounds with a leggy, thin build. They have short coats in multiple colors. A healthy breed, Azawaks are very active, requiring activity outside most of the time. They love to run. While aloof and distant, like my father, they remain loyal to their humans. Unlike my father. Uh, like other rare breeds, the cost can be extraordinarily high. The cheapest you could find one is still in the low thousands. Number 1. Otterhound 
an old British breed, fewer than 800 otterhounds exist in the world today. According to the Otterhound Club of America, the large dogs reach 100 pounds and have an energetic and friendly personality, often described as clowns. They have a double coat in a variety of colors and large, webbed feet. That's right, webbed. Like many other rare dogs, the British Otterhound comes with a plethora of potential health problems. The average lifespan is a little over 10 years, and common health problems among Otterhounds include hip and elbow dysplasia and lots of different hearing issues. But despite all the problems that come with them, the rareness and uniqueness of the Otterhound is astounding. At an absolute minimum, purchasing yourself an Otterhound will set you back about $2,000, and that's a minimum. Would you be willing to cough up the coins required to purchase one of these rare and unique puppers? And if so, which one would you go for? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.